Hi there, it's Alina from Exonate Mastery here, and today I would like to talk about PPE and where do we place personal protective equipment line items in Xactimate. So I've got a couple people who have asked me questions on this, and I have a couple ideas of where you should place those in the hierarchy of the grouping tree in Xactimate. So let's go take a look at where we place PPE on your grouping tree. So what we're going to do with these personal protective equipment items is we're going to place them in their own folder on the grouping tree. I think that this is the best way to show an adjuster, if you're a contractor, what you're doing with the PPE items as if you do a lot of roofing exterior, it's probably not something that you usually add to your estimate. Uh, interior and mitigation guys are probably a lot more familiar with, with what to do with the PPE, but still you might want to just create this folder so that you can show the adjuster this is where I'm putting all of this virus related uh, personal protective equipment so that you can discuss that. Um, also, if you're going to use like a, a containment barrier or a negative air scrubber, you probably want to do that per room. Uh, of course, this is PPE. It's what you're wearing. That's what I'm going to put in the folder just to kind of clearly define what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new folder and I'm going to go ahead and name it. Um, I would spell out personal protective uh, equipment. Let's do that and I'm going to attach it. So I clicked on that very top folder here on the grouping tree and I'm going to attach to that. Be careful because if you select something else and you go to add, you might see um, a different, different uh, options come up here, append or insert. And so since I've clicked down here, what I'm just going to do is add it as a subgroup of this roof and I do not want that. So you can always of course go back and delete. I say you need to go ahead and go all the way to the top and select this one so that when you add your PPE, you can attach and it becomes its own entity. It's like a hierarchy of folders, right? So you want it to be a main folder, not a sub of anything else. And I'll show you how this prints out on the estimate so you can see why I'm doing this. Okay, and then I've got a macro and because it's a uh, virus related, I actually pulled a hazmat um, line items here. I don't know that that's the perfect application. It just didn't seem logical that you'd use like a WTR line item here. I could be wrong, but HMR, you know, is used for hazmat, um, trauma, those kinds of things. And since this is a virus, it just seemed more appropriate. I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think about that and whether the, uh, the, the HMR category should be used. I did do a comparison, however, and if you use the WTR line items, they're pretty much the same price from my, what I could tell on my price list. So I don't think that it really matters for the long run, but I just wanted to show you what, uh, why I added these line items or tell you about that today. So that's what we're going to go ahead and add into this folder. And then of course, I'm just going to go down my calculator field and, uh, you know, just put in my quantities and then I've got my PPE added. So let's just go ahead. And maybe we have, uh, three people that use change their gloves five times or six times a day. We can do that calculation here. Uh, we have, three people working with eye protection and boots and then personal equipment, uh, heavy duty. We'll just go down the list here. All right. So then once I've got all of that added, I can go ahead and uh, look at this in the report. And I want to just wanted to run through that with you because I think it's important to see what it looks like on the actual estimate here. So you'll see, actually, let me backtrack. Each of these are folders. So I've got a main level folder. I've got a um, deck that is sketched. So it's its own folder. What I like to do is separate things into their own areas. And that's why I like the PPE area. That's not easy to say over and over. PPE area where I can show here's all the line items that I used for the entire job. Um, if you are more accustomed to putting them into each room as you go along and you can track it that way, that's fine. It just, we've got a lot of people who haven't dealt with PPE in the past that are restoration and uh, exterior siding contractors, exterior roofing contractors that haven't done this ever before. So I wanted to show and tell you my thoughts on where I think the, you know, 
easiest place to, uh, to adjust to, uh, for an adjuster to see is if you just separate it out and then you guys can talk about those line items in that separate folder. So that's what I would do if I was going to add PPE to an estimate uh, in Xactimate for this particular case. And uh, again, any thoughts on that that you, if you have a lot of experience using that, love to hear in the comments down below. Again, my name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. Hope you guys are staying very safe and very healthy out there. Hope to see you after all this is over and uh, hope you stay safe. No. My name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. Thanks for watching today. If you want more information on the training that I have to offer, go to xmatemastery.com. I hope that you and your families and loved ones are staying safe out there and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday.